Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenerolf here. The FNM at home this week is Historic Artisan. Conveniently, I've already made a video about a Historic Artisan deck uh, that I just threw together on the first day that I got to play after Kaladesh Remastered was released. That is this deck, which so far... Whoa, 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 where'd you go? Where'd you go? Well, it's in here somewhere. Look at, look at all my decks that are totally legal for this. Okay, seriously, where'd it run off to? Artisan Rug Energy. Oh, the land base, the land base. Okay, so everything except for the land base is fine. Let me f fix that really quickly. <laughs> look at these handy dandy rares. But everything up here is fine. So other than that, the deck is unchanged. I have four tune with ether, just to smooth out the mana for the rest of the deck. Harness Lightning, it's our only removal spell. And then a whole bunch of aggro stuff. We have Long Tusk Cub as a 4 of Servant of the Conduit for mana ramp and give us extra energy. Aether Torch Renegade for removal later on, a little bit of reach. This one is actually iffy. I, I attempted to make it work previously. The fact that it makes 4 energy is pretty substantial, but it doesn't have a way to get more energy on its own, unlike something like Long Tusk Cub. So I'm, I'm a little iffy on this. But, it, it's able to ping small creatures, deals with planeswalkers later on, and gives us 6 damage to end the game. Uh, Thriving Rhino, uh, big dude, big chonky dude. Whirler Virtuoso, uh, makes 3 energy and makes a swarm of flyers. And then Rogue Refiner, banned in standard <laughs> for a bit. So, yeah, draws you a card, 2 energy, it's a 3-2, so it's a decent sized body. And then lastly, Scrapper Champion, our double strike creature. Uh, it has to actually attack in order to get the plus one plus one counter, but a 3-3 three, three double strike, that that can just do it. And this is Artisan, so presumably these creatures are smaller. No questing beast, no anything stupid like that. Uh, I need to fix the mana base really quickly. Thankfully, we get to still keep the Aether Hub, but I have a sneaking suspicion this is not going to go terribly well. So let's uh, take a look here. So switch off to land. Uh... Uncommon and common. We don't actually need all three colors. Uh, let's let's take that off. Although, okay. So, Mystic Sanctuary only gives us access to more Harness Lightning. So let's not go. Oh, wait a minute. We have our Thriving Lands. We have our Tap Lands. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let's let me scoot forward a bit so I can look at the two color ones. The actual two color ones, not just Thriving. Hmm, okay. So for the ones that we care about, I haven't seen them yet. Uh, so many of them are going to come in tapped. Well, I guess it kind of works out. Our curve really starts at 2. Uh, we have a tune with Aether, but other than that, our curve starts at 2. So tap lands aren't that big of a deal for us. It's not They're not ideal. Uh, but I think we can make that work. So, okay. Steam Vents becomes Swiftwater Cliffs. Uh, so I could do these just as one-for-ones for, ones for the lifelands, or whatever these are called. Uh, conslands? What have you. And then Fable Passage can become two more forest mountain island, I guess? Sure, let, let's try that out. So Steam Vents goes right out in favor of you. We still want to keep a decent number of untapped forest for a tune. Um... One, two, three, four. And that lets me take out Stomping Ground. Head off to find the one for Breeding Pool. Thornwood Falls. One, two, three, four. And then take out the Passage. In place of... Oh, you know what? While we're at it, let's fix our land base. Let's fix that really quickly. Uh, take out you all. Okay. Because we have full art for us now. So, ship, sure. There we are. Sorry. We're, oh, jeez. <laughs> wrong way. Wrong direction. We're going to go to four. Uh, take out mountain. And switch that off to aesthetics. That's, that's, that's it. That's all this is. Just appreciating the aesthetics of having full arts. And let's do another. And then for islands sure that we have a full art island as well. We might even have more than one. We have, yeah, we, I think, no, no, we just have the one. That's right. 
it's not island that we have multiples of. Alright, so we're back to 60. So this gives us 4 that we can use for turn 1, a tune with Aether. Uh, still a decently red and green deck, so I'm not sure how many islands is the right number. Um, it only works for these two spells, which are 3 mana. But I guess we'll keep it the way it... well... no. We'll go up this way. It's just much more important. Plus we still have... well, 13... or 12 other sources. 13 altogether. Alright, so this is the deck. This is my Artisan Rug Energy deck. Now, since it's an aggro deck that just had its mana base gimped, we are actually going to have a bit of a problem, but I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to make it work. Randomly, an Artisan Rug Energy deck happened to get me by when I was playing uh, in the previous video, but that was after Kaladesh Remastered had just just come out. I need to make the, the volume a little higher on this, don't I? It might even be actually muted. Actually factually muted. Cut that up, just just give me a sec. Alright. Yep, yep. Well, no wonder then. Alright. We can make this work. It gives us some time to find some more. Hey, and there it is, actually. It works. Alright, so I'm expecting, yeah, Mono Blue Stompy to be a thing. Nope! Oh, it's Flyers. Okay. Okay. In that case... Hmm... Alright. This isn't great. I was hoping we might have some more time. With zero stakes on the line, I think it's alright. By the way, when I get done with a one win, we'll open some packs. We have quite a few to get to. Oh, boy. Imperial Eagle, Imperial Eagle is a... uncommon, I believe. Is an uncommon, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna dig for Harness Lightning. Alright. Well, now... Yeah. That may not have been great. The Renegade can actually kill the Watcher, which is the thing with Curious Obsession on it. Harness Lightning... Uh... No, at, at this point it won't work anymore. They're gonna be able to hold up blue mana. Never mind. We're, we're Dunskis. We're Dunskis. If I play the Renegade and then Forest for a tune, that gives us a, another shot at it. This might enable us to kill this uh, Storm Tamer next turn, if I can find Harness Lightning. If not, well, we were doomed to lose this one regardless. Right. Attack with Refiners, see if they'll make the trade. I, I just suspect that they will not. There's no reason for them to here. Okay. A tune. Let's get another forest. Well, it doesn't matter. We'll get a mountain. Alright. Here goes. Vandal. Now? I mean, they get the extra point from Vandal. They also could have gotten the extra point from Watcher. Yeah, oh boy. Oh boy. Give him a good game. Ouch. Just to be cheeky, I'll, I'll poke down Storm Tamer first. Well, you know what? Alright. Heh <laughs> heh, good game. Alright, that, that'll do it, unfortunately. That'll do it. Oh, my quests today are... Oh, actually, you know what? It works out all the more because my quests require that I play rug stuff. I have... Huh. Let's see. Well, okay, one of them just went away. It was uh, red or blue spells, red or green spells, and then cast 20 creatures. 
So that, I guess that ends up working out. You can see by the time I'm playing this a bit late. A little bit late. Uh, let's see, this is the... Oh, what? which one is this? It's a coffee I just got. Uh, I'll have to check it out. I'll... Hmm. Let's see. The name that's coming to mind is Portside, but that doesn't sound right. Alright, give him the hello. Oh, uh, because I ended up getting the Mastery Pass through buying daily gems, I, uh, I have a few more things to show off. We have these. A. Hey. Oh, hello, go away. Go away. Alright. Uh, let's go for Cub. We'll do Cub. That's actually deal combat damage to get the counter, though. But we should be able to connect because of Harness Lightning. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no! Aha! Uh -huh. Now, if we play Serpent first, we're fine, but this thing has Death Touch, so we actually do need to kill it. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Blip. Just the one. Pay one. Zap. Alright. See if they want to block. Of course they'll... No, they won't block. They're saving it. Oh, okay. Hmm. In that case, let's make it a 3-3. Try to get it outside of Disfigure and uh, Dead White range. I don't know why I did it there, though. I could have done it late. Well, it's one extra point. One extra point. Maybe I'm playing too, too aggressively. We'll see. Alright, Vessel. All the Demon Souls lately has made me think... Okay. I was playing around entirely the wrong stuff. Get our island. Um. Hmm. Let's do Whirler Virtuoso. This thing has to attack before it can get the counter anyway. Ah. Oh. Interesting. The Demon Souls. Soul of the Lost be drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Alright. Let's get one of them out at least. Just you, little buddy. Alright. Scrapper Champion. Let's go. Alright, I feel a little bit better about this one, but I'm waiting for the removal to just delete me. Now they have four mana for- oh! Fin Lurker! Okay. That's easy. Fin Lurker. Interesting. Ah, uh, uh, and I can't use the, unlike Long Test Cub, I can't actually use it right now, so they get to kill the champion. That's a bummer. That's a drag. Well, I mean, I guess we're doing this. Renegade. Ooh. Actually, that is pretty sick. Although I don't have a way to make more right now. Uh, these have lifelink. Want to be a little bit careful about that. If I attack with everything, let's see, one block here. Yeah, we'll hold one of them back. All right, pass turn. Non-creature, non-land. 
Yo. And then I'm about to lose my graveyard. I have zero graveyard synergies in this deck. Which is admittedly a weakness of it. It would be nice to have something. Even if it's just like glimpse the un one single glimpse the unthinkable. Alright, there's obviously a trick here. There, there's... No, 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 no. I see what it is. I see what's going on. They have a... It's, it's Fin Lurker, so they can buff it. I can put out two... Wait. Ah, oh, genius. Do we... Yeah, it doesn't have lifelink. We can let it through. We can let it through. They can buff it twice. Because of banner. Do it again. Do it again. No? Okay. Off to my turn. Well, now they can't do it again. If I... Well, no, they can, actually, because they kept the banner up. Let's see. They don't have any Death Touch out right now. So Thriving Rhino might actually get the job done. But they don't know about it yet. We're the Virtuoso, they do. I just realized that Renegade actually has less utility in a format... Well, no, it's historic, so they are Planeswalkers, just... Narset, that sort of Planeswalker. Oh, jeez. My eye. Alright. So what do we want to... Do we want to use the Renegade now? I think the answer is probably no. Alright. Send off a couple of you. Oh, jeez. Because I can't make two one ones and use Renegade at the same time. Send two off. Red Rover, Red Rover, send two of these right over. And joy of all joys, they are actually hellbent here. Alright, so there goes my graveyard. I'm sure they have something to reanimate the vessels. I'm sure. Alright. Activate. They can pump it twice. Heartless Act. What's it targeting? Renegade. Right? Activate. Poke. Now I can't make another one. Alright, there we go. Bang. Alright. Let's see. They don't have enough mana to do it again. Bang. There we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. That's, that's one way of putting it, I suppose. Alright, let's go and find a basic... Well, yeah, we already have two for us. Let's get another mountain. Although the deck is very heavily green-based, isn't it? Alright. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll do it now. It doesn't matter. That isn't optimal, but that's how I did it. Oops. Alright, we're just going to poke them to death with little flyers. If you played Kaladesh Limited... You remember how obnoxious this card could be. Only a lot. That little background noise you were hearing reminds me of, like, in Yu-Gi-Oh! in the opening theme for uh, the original show. Let's see. Yeah, we'll take... We'll do it again. No, no. There's there's a trick here. Obviously, there's a trick here. Alright, we're the Virtuoso blocks one of them because I have another. I'm curious how I want to do this. I don't know what their game is. Alright. Nothing. 
Yet when it, I saw it move immediately over, I knew there was something going on. Alright, call. Yep, call the Death Dwellers. Yep, that's what happens. That's what you do. And then they become five fives. Boop. Okay, six fives rather. Heraldic banners out. All right. Kind of would like to not play that right now. I can already cast everything in my deck, and I don't want them to know what I have. All right, so we can spend five of these to kill one of them. It's not great. <laughs> it's definitely not great. But I think that we can make it work. Alright, hold this up so they don't happen to know what that is. I'll give them the, the nice... <laughs> just to do something for fun, just to make it fun for them. I've seen Subani a few times on here. Maybe a half dozen times. Just running around in the casual queue. The unranked queue. Casual queue. MTG Arena does not have an unranked mode. I mean, doesn't have a casual mode right now. Uh, I find more serious decks in the unranked queue than I do in Platinum sometimes. It's silly how that works. By the way, at some point... I, uh, let's, let's attack. I should probably see if I can... Um, actually compete for for mythic try to actually level up try to rank up all right let's take a chance here goes nothing although now harness lightning won't get us out of this spot don't have it don't have it okay good we got one of them Go off on my turn. That's only two. That's not enough for another one. You yeah, folks, we're in trouble. All right, we'll we'll play that just in case. All right, this lets us level up the thriving rhino that's already out. All right, that's two, and we'll invest. All right. If I had not done that, then I could have gotten a top deck Harness Lightning to kill the demon. But I think that that ship has sailed. Now, the Scorpion, unless they find another banner, I'm not worried about. Uh, just the one? Okay. Good, 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 good. So we're at a virtual four, and we should lose here. Harness Lightning to kill the Scorpion will get us through, at least. Uh, if I can find something to make th at least three energy, then we can make another blocker for a turn. So basically we need to not draw land here. Malakir Rebirth, what the heck? Um, oh, there it goes. I'm about to say, this is a weird time to cast that, but they got there. They found a way. Now it is tapped. Wait, what's this? I don't want to give them the oops, because there might be a plan here, but it is coming in tapped. Yeah, I've actually con- oh, there it goes. I've considered that for, um, for modern Malakir Rebirth as something that I can use for that Elementals deck I've been rocking. Well, n now we actually don't even have the- yeah, give them the good game. All right, and we're off. Whee! Boom, 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 boom. And we'll concede. We'll save them a moment. Actually, no, maybe I shouldn't concede. On the one hand, they could have an attack quest. On the other hand, it saves my opponent time. It, it does the courtesy, gives them the courtesy of, of letting them get to the next game. So I don't know. I don't know. Once we get a win, we'll open some packs, but give me just a moment. Just a little bit. That was a lot closer than the first, though. So I'll take that, at least. Okay. 
So, Lightning Cub Double Servant. Looks good. It looks good to me. Alright. Play that first. Yay for Taplands going first. Woo! Alright. Hey, Daxos. Uh? Hmm. We're, we're definitely holding up Lightning here, aren't we? Alright. And then wait. Uh, no. Fire. One, two. There we go. There we go. Alright, that was about to get out of hand. That was about to get silly. Alright, so bad news. We actually need to spend green mana in order to get our ball rolling here. Alright. So let's play Servant. Yeah, Servant's good. Yeah, unfortunately we have to spend an energy, but we get two more. Yeah, not having green mana aside from Aether Hub is a little bit of an issue, but we'll make it work. There's Vanguard. Okay. I wasn't sure which direction this deck was going to go, but we'll take it, I guess. Now, that's a 2-2. That's a, that's a problem. Oh boy. Oh boy! Alright, so we need to actually play out a cub here, don't we? We can go uh, Servant, go to 2, go to 4, Cub, go back to 3, and now we have a 3-3. Three, three. So they can't attack this turn. It won't be long, though. Yeah, that's a problem. Alright. Alright now. That's just rude. Okay. I, I guess I can force them to spend 4 life. Not that they have a problem with that. Hmm. Not that they have a problem with that at all. I kind of would like to do some sort of pressure on their life total. And we don't need the ramp for much longer, anyway. We'll fire it off. Alright, yep, there it goes. Alright, that's a 3-3. Yikes. I'll, I'll save the energy here. We don't have to spend it just yet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so let's see. We can use Virtuoso. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I do this correctly. Rhino gives it to me immediately, though. Oh, but we actually need the we need the mana. We want to spend our mana efficiently. Another cub. Go attacking. Alright, let's see how they want to do this. Okay, as expected. Okay. So they'll spin four, go to fourteen. Alright. That's it. Bang. In the turn. Good, so we still have all of our options available to us. That was effectively... <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this is a problem. That Hallowed Priest is about to get out of hand really quickly. Because now it's going to be a 4-4. I'd have to spend all of my energy to kill it this turn if it attacks. Uh-oh. What's this? <coughs> Swear to God. Okay, What's re what are we going after? Cub? No. Well, okay. If I spend this one time, I'll be able to kill a healer's hawk. So I think we have to do that, even though it means that I won't be able to kill the priest now. Sure. 
All right. Let's see. Attack with the priest. Do it. Do it, coward. All right. All right. How are you? How are you doing this? All right. So you go here. You go here. Sadly, I can't buff the cub enough. Not anymore. Alright, so that's a 5-5 five, five Hallowed Priest. That's not good. That's not good at all. They did let it go, though. It's interesting. Alright. Add a little bit more. Hmm, I can buff a given cub twice. That's not enough. Yeah. Ooh. My arm does not appreciate that. Alright. Yeah, I I don't think this one's going well for us. I don't think we're winning this one. I have enough that I can stop a vanguard if it attacks. But that's about it. Jeez. Just attack with priest. No, just vanguard. Oh. And they don't have any cards. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah. Okay. Never mind. Crap. Jeez. If I spend all of mine... Let's see. How do we want to do this? Jeez. Oh, boy. Alright, let's buy some time. Yeah. Alright. Oh, jeez. This isn't working. Okay. Oh, this isn't good, folks. They don't even need to attack with a priest at this point. Jeez Louise. Alright, as long as we have one cub, we can keep doing this. Yeah. We are pressuring their life total, but without Renegade, it doesn't matter anyway. And Renegade doesn't matter until they get down to sip. Mm! Alright. It's not looking good. Alright. Hold full control. <laughs> why, Lisa? Why? All right, here comes everyone. Well, a priest and bank. No, no priest still. What are they playing around? I genuinely do not know the answer. What is it that they're playing around? So we can get this up to a 4-4. Four -four. They can pump Vanguard with Dunes. Oh boy, no blocks. Let's take it. Ow. Please. Virtuoso. Okay. We can do something with that. Thank goodness we can do something with that. Alright, yeah, that's that's not good. You'd think that they were playing fling the way that this is going. You would think. Oh boy. That's game. No, no, it's not. We can make colorless. <laughs> We can make colorless thopters to stall, but effectively that's game. Alright. Alright. Wanna be careful. He he says as he dumps all of his points into it. We can get this big enough that it can just take, it could tank a hit from Vanguard. But now we lose the ability to block with uh, Virtuoso. Or Virtuoso tokens. So if they were meaning to bait me, they got me. Alright, here goes. Renegade, okay. Alright. We got to have our cake and eat it too. 
do Torch Renegade. Oh, let's just... There we go. Alright. We have exactly enough to hit them to for lethal. No attacks. Heck no. Heck no. Alright. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a thing. Hmm. Alright. That is the most patient play that I have seen with a card like that. Alright. Thankfully we can start trying to poke them, but... I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's see, 9. I can get this Long Tusk Cub up to a 9-9. Nine -nine versus a 15-15. Uh, Houston, we still have a problem. Alright. They don't have any flyers, though, so we can try to start poking them down. Although, Soul Warden's going to negate that for a hot minute. What is... what is going on? Uh, okay, note to self. This deck needs some sort of uh, artifact or enchantment removal. Though I'm not remembering any energy-based artifact or enchantment removal. There might just there might be some that I'm just not remembering. All right, all seed. Use the all seed. All right. And then they get an extra counter. I'm actually probably just going to concede after the, after my next draw step. I don't think there's anything that I can use to get out of this. Unfortunately. I think we're just kind of done. Bang. It's a very technical term. Bang. Yeah, I'm, I'm just calling it. Give them the good games. They played well. Ah, that's what happens when you let it get out of control. Remember the good old days of cards like Tarmogoyf taking over a game? A two-mana creature that just gets big and wrecks, well, there are other payoff creatures like that for two mana. Alright. Yep. Keep. We can use uh, a tune with ether right away. Um, actually, I think that's probably the way to go, right? We'll still have all of our colors, but normally I'd want to play the tap land first. But this is deck thinning. Yeah, we'll do it. Pay it. Go and get... Uh, where's the island? Way over here. Alright, there we go. Play it right away. Oh, that's a cute sound. That's a cute little sound. Oh no. Well, as you do, I suppose. As you do. Yeah, we really need some removal here. Alright. And then pass. Okay. I was waiting for some aura shenanigans, but nope, not yet. Alright. Didn't need him yet. Uh, we'll play the Renegade first since it can actually kill the dude. Force them into it. And if they start putting a bunch of auras on it, we'll just hit it with lightning. Burn it with some lightning. Oh, give it a shocking end. Shocking conclusion. Alright, come on. See if that's what they're up to. Oh, okay. We we take those, I guess. All right. We could do this now, and then if they try to respond, we have lightning. God's willing. Okay. Uh, let's let that go. Alright. 
It ended up not working out though, because they actually got something out of the scry. They put something down. I could have competed. I could have contested it. Maybe I should have. Where is all that glitters? That's what I want to see. That looks like an obvious card for what they're trying to do. Uh, sure. Okay. Let them poke me. Poke. Alright. Hmm. Let's do it again. See if they'll let it happen. God's willing again. Well, they can't contest it now. So, if I play the Harness Lightning, I think we still... Yeah, let's, let's do it. They only have one card left. I think this is probably fine. Pay one. Alright. And now it doesn't resolve, so they don't get the scry. We get extra energy. We might be in an okay shape. They have fewer cards, no creature. There's a creature, actually. Speak of the devil, and it shall appear. Alright. Yeah, so it's it's not any sort of... Maybe all that glitters is in here somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, but we can, we can only deal one to it. Players and Planeswalkers, we get six. Only one to that, though. Uh, let's draw a card. Ooh, okay. That would have been nice. Pass along. Yeah, even with the Servant, we're lacking one mana. All that glitters. No? Okay. Okay, so here comes the other one. I like their deck. This looks like my kind of deck. There it is. Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. Alright. Well, let's gain some life and put out a blocker. Yeah, we, we have a problem. Little bit. Only a lot. Only a lot of a problem. Alright, attack with the one that can. They'll let it through. They'll let it slide. It's not looking too good. Yeah, now that they don't need the extra mana, I don't blame them. Mindstone is a common, folks. Yeesh. Look at that. Yeesh. And it's a 9-9. Nine -nine. Alright. Well, we do what we have to do. Actually, this might be a little premature. If I find Harness Lightning, we're okay. Because it'll make 3, I'll have 10, and then I can spend 9 of it. Or I could not. That's also the case. Gain one. Every Virtuoso at least gives me a little bit more to work with. I could spend one energy for yet another. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We want to use Rhino here, don't we? Alright. Okay. Um, attack with you two. Try to sneak some damage in where I can. Okay. Still going to hurt. Alright, oh, yeah. Activate. We're just stalling for Harness Lightning. Maybe we'll get there. That's the plan. That's the hope. Alright. No killing it yet. There we go. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Another Ornithopter. Yay. Alright. Oh, another Rhino. Okay. Well, if we can actually get somewhere with our pokes, we might be in okay shape. Alright, then fire you off. 
Renegade deals six. So if we attack, we attack with everything except for you. And yeah, we, we might actually get somewhere with this. All right, so we're at 13. We can go to 11. Um, if we put the counter here, they block. And actually, it'll, it'll shrink the owl, too. Um, block. 13, 11. Yeah, they, they could also block refiner. Let's assume they block refiner. Uh, 9 and then 6. Um, do we want to pay? Yeah, let's pay it. Come on, block refiner. Do it. You know you want to. Yes, okay. I agree. I think that's the right choice. I think they made the right choice. Alright, what do they have? God's willing again. Okay. I can't kill it. Alright. Well, okay, they scry to the bottom. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon, folks. We can afford to use one. Holy crap! Okay. It's okay. Actually, we can still do this. Um, they're out of cards in hand, so no more tricks. If I block here... I can take 10, go to 1, and then kill them on the swing back. And that should do it. Let me think, just to make absolutely sure, let me think this through again. No cards. Yeah, this should be it. Unless I'm missing something, this will do it. Ow. Oh, wait, wait, what on earth was I thinking? That didn't attack with the others anyway. Yeah. Indeed, that is good game. Um, it didn't matter. I'm I am big dumb. It seems. All right. All right. Uh, for which one is this? Yeah, it's for this one. It doesn't actually matter. I guess. Sure. As long as we maintain six, we're okay. Then they block as they should. Yep. And then there we go. And even if that weren't enough, Renegade does its job. Okay. So that was... <laughs> that took entirely too long. Well, it was only three games, but it seemed like it took forever. Because it did. That was almost 50 minutes. Okay, so whatever this is, it's a rare that I already have as a four of. I don't know. I don't know. That's... Unfortunate. I would have rather it been a rare, but it happens. That's okay. Well, I did say let's open some packs. I have been, I have been stockpiling these things. I guess we'll do Thera's first. Let's do them in order. All right. Ideal. Ooh, idyllic tutor. Hello, EDH. Hello. <laughs> oh, I love that card. Any card that has the word tutor in it. Automatic favorite of mine. Uh. Yay for finding combos. Yay for just putting into a Sanctum deck. I don't know. Right, let's do it again. So we get this time around. Right. Hi, Elspeth Conquers. Okay, so that's actually a card. <laughs> I think the game is telling me something. Idyllic Tutor into Elspeth Conquers Death. Maybe I should get the hint. Maybe I should take the message. Alright, whatever this is. You know, maybe the rare it gave me is from Ikoria because God knows I have plenty of those. Okay. Mythic wild card. Add it to the pile. One rare, 25 mythics. Alright. Zendikar. We'll actually save the Kaladesh ones for after my my next go at it. Another of you. I guess I'll play them at some point. Play a party deck. Yeah. It's not the party card I was hoping for, though. But it, it works. It works out. Uh, hey, now we take those. We absolutely take those. Should pay attention to the rest of the pack. Alright. 
Hello. Hello, Brawl deck. Uh, me being obnoxious in Brawl. Not for standard. This is for historic Brawl. Um, but I, I've talked about what silliness I want to use that for, and uh, I'm a terrible person. Ah, you'll see. You'll see. Uh, but as for the rest of the pack, I guess again I'll take a look. Rogue payoffs. Let's see. Okay, I mean, spell pierce, but maybe better? Well, okay. Uh, next one. So if you... Real quick question. If you were thrown into D&D, &D, thrown into a D&D &D world, and let's say you only get to choose from the four classes. You get to be a warrior, a cleric, a rogue, or a wizard. What are you going to be? I, I fashion myself uh, as a smart person, but I think I would probably end up being a rogue instead of a wizard. Um, because I think that more suits... <laughs> that more suits my personality, I suppose. Uh, ideally, I'd be both. I, I tend to play something like both. For example, in Dark Souls 3, that's what I ended up doing for my first playthrough. Uh, a sneaky wizard. Um, okay. Look at that art. I, I dig... The, the cards, the cards fun, but that art just looks like he's having so much fun. Uh, although actually, in games like D&D, &D, I end up being the cleric, I end up being the class no one wants to play. But if I get to play what I want to, I, I did as a kid uh, want to be Ezio. I thought that was, oh, nice! That's a good find. And look how cute it is! Look how cute that is! Uh, I wanted to raise my uh, real-life dexterity, I suppose. I wanted to be Ezio. Now, as it turns out, a lot of what he does is actually impossible, but I didn't know that, so I, you know, I ended up getting into parkour, ending up trying to make myself flexible and strong and all that jazz. <sighs> so a lot of kids, like, I want to be, I, I, I grew up at a time when everyone wanted to be Goku. Or, less commonly, something like Mario or Sonic or, you know, something like that. But no, I wanted to be Ezio. Which, I didn't even own an Assassin's Creed game until I got to be an adult. So, how that happened, I'm not entirely sure. Stories with T1 Glistener Elf. Ah... I still kind of do. I, uh, as I've gotten older, I've been told that I'm supposed to, like, my body's supposed to start falling apart at some point, and it hasn't just yet. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> it's going to happen, right? Uh, but even at 30, I still feel, I, I don't feel anywhere near as strong as I used to, but then again, I also don't exercise, you know, work out as much as I did. So, that's to be expected. Ooh, okay. Hi, you have no legal options in this hand. I mean, no applicable options. Oops. Alright, so we'll take a servant and go. So we can play... Hmm. Probably Rogue Refiner next turn, Tapla... Oh, there we go, never mind. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We can still play the Refiner, as it turns out. As it turns out, although I kind of would like to get out Champion next turn. It's mono black though, so let's let's see if we can run their removal a little dry here. Yep. All right. It's unfortunate, but you would have to do. Oh, nice. So we did find an untapped land. Okay. So they have something that they can do for one mana at instant speed. Just spells with flash. Oh boy. So I don't want to play the champion just yet. I'm a little worried it's going to die. Ooh, wait a minute. I'm going to have to spend another energy. It'll put me at three. We'll attack first. Alright, see if they want to do anything. Alright, would you like to trade? 
this early in the game, a co oh, they're trading a cost reducer. Interesting. Admittedly, I wasn't expecting that. So we'll pay another energy. That'll be okay. We'll make it work. Draw a CAD. Alright, there's a hub. Good. We should be good to go on mana. I want to be careful, because they have removal. There's no way they don't. I want to be careful about that. A little death touch. Okay. Ooh, God. Well, okay then. It's not as flash-oriented as I, I was anticipating. That's a, that's a problem. That's not good. Trade the vampire, right? Yeah. Alright. Well, in that case, I guess we can go... Rhino Servant? Yeah, let's go Rhino Servant. Alternatively, we could do Rhino Long Tusk Cub, but I need to get through the Death Touch first. Alright. Pass it right along. Nine energy. I'd say we have a decent bit of energy. Ooh, okay. Wait, no, this is only other vampires. Okay, not other creatures. Okay. Well, um, we can attack with the Rhino, force them to block with the Boot Nipper. Just you. Yes, we'll pay it. It'll block with Boot Nipper just to get rid of a creature. They could wait. I don't know what they have in hand, but th this one at least is out of disfigure range. So fun fact, I can wiggle my ears, and sometimes I do it involuntarily, the same way that you do like your eyebrows or other, other facial expressions. Um, so I catch myself, but I can feel it. <laughs> the, for these, the muscles humans have to wiggle their ears are not particularly strong. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's play a land, get out. Unfortunately, this, this thing is going to die. I'm sorry buddy, you're not long for this world. Uh, but, at least, at least we'll force them to use up a removal spell on it. If nothing else. Yeah, yeah. Called it. Called it. Alright. Now, looking over this, when it deals combat damage to a player. Okay. So we'll start off by attacking. Uh, we'll spend... Oh, here we go. Alright, so they have something. They obviously have something. Let's make them do it. Doesn't have Death Touch or anything. I'm gonna make them do it. Alright, what you got? Plus two, plus one, and gains Death Touch. So it'll still have four toughness. I can live with that. Has to do combat damage to a player. Bang. Alright. I'm going to hold the forest in hand. There's no point in playing it out. Put up full control. I don't need the mana, and I'd like for my opponent to not know what I have. Alright. Let's see. I guess let's let's go. What could possibly go wrong? It's a flash deck. Yeah, we're holding that up. We're waiting. Maybe that's too cautious of me, but we're waiting. Yeah, now we're gonna go off. It didn't take them too- oh, yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I noticed when I was going through uh, phases that it, there wasn't much of a gap, so it made me think they didn't have an instant. I should have dumped counters into it. Return target permanent from your graveyard to your hand. Um, permanent. Yeah, so that's... Oh god, we're gonna get another death touch creature out. Okay, then. Well. There is a deep and abiding temptation here to throw as much as I can at it. Alright. Hiya! Alright.
Well, okay. We'll hang on to three. Get two more. Okay. This is enough for harness lightning at eight. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And that's their only source of life gain right now. Thank goodness. Oh, boy. Alright, we're way ahead on life. We're gonna take it. Please, 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 please. Okay. Um, well, that's not ideal. Alright. Blocks, that becomes a 3 4 flyer. Ow. Alright. Here we go. In the turn. Alright. So we can make it trade with Lurker, but. Unfortunately, I, I spent too much energy earlier for anything more than that. For now. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Wow. Okay. Okay, then. Just you? I can live with that. Alright. Let's wait on spending the energy until we find. Aha! Okay. Let's get an island. Played the island because they know about it. Might as well. Okay. That's a problem. They're going to attack with that next turn. Leave the vampire back. Oh boy. Oh boy. They can't attack with Lurker anymore, at least. I mean, they can. And they would be able to trade Lurker with Cub because of the uh, Footlight Fiend. But realistically, all right, this is going to make that into a 4-5, but it gets rid of the uh, Death Touch creature that I'm most worried about. This I can find, I can remove with lightning if I find it. Oh boy. Yeah, it's not looking great. It's not looking too hot. If they see that they can attack with Lurker, I'm in a good bit of trouble. I don't know if they see that yet, though. I can't block Bonder anyway. Holy crap, Gary. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm gonna call that a good game. I'm not actually dead yet, but we're just about. Look at that. Oh, no, wait. I am dead. As long as they attack properly, I'm dead. Yeah, you got me. You got me. Hmm. For the life of me, I still can't remember the- it's bad when I can't remember the name of the brand of the coffee. Granted, I just got it, but it's- it's pretty good. I ought to- I don't, I don't mean that as disrespect, I just don't remember. Blitzcrag, okay. Oh, let's go. We can live with this. Alright, falls first. Okay. Ugh, stretching all the way. Oh boy. So I put up recently my 120, 33, 15 win historic run. Uh, let's go hub into servant. I tried to record one this week and it looked like it was going okay. Uh, it's a, it, I added another Shrom to the list. There's still one Hushbringer as of when I did that video, uh, but otherwise it's almost four Spirit Dancer, four Shrom. And unfortunately, I had a, a crash on Arena, and it, it kind of killed the run. We were on a good pace. Um, had that continued forward, it would have, it would have made it. Oh, it's, oh man. Oh man. Now I really wish I had one. Okay. Uh, we want to play the Refiner first, I believe. Since I can't otherwise get out a three mana creature this turn, let's play Refiner. That does mean Champion should be alright. Alright, what you got? Another Swift 
Blackwater Cliffs. Okay. Let's see, so we're looking at five champion... It won't take too long before we get to the point where champion won't be able to actually attack because of Tranquil Light. A Tranquil Light's going to tap it down. For the limited time we'll have, though, that should be alright. Let's see, so we have which ones to worry about right now. Black, red, white, green, this one should make blue. Okay, so there's Stone Fangs, okay. That's what I was worried about. Alright, we still want to get out Champion nonetheless. Hit them for three. Alright, attack, hi ya. play another one. Okay. Alright, so we're going to hit for a 6 plus Rogue Refiner this turn. Actually, no, we'll also have Sir... Oh, Cry? Oh! Holy crap. Bodied. Absolutely bodied there. Brutal. Brutal Legends. Top 10 Brutal Legends. Alright. Well... Admittedly, I wasn't expect- oh, jeez. Uh, are we done? I think we're done, folks. Before we play the land, we'll play out the Rogue Refiner. Yeah, this is- this is over. This is over. Jeez. Well, that's devastating. Alright, if they hit the Virtuoso, we'll make a token. No, we'll make a few tokens, won't we? We are opening ourselves up to cry, but what else are we going to spend the energy on? Absolutely freaking nothing. Now, I'm assuming that they're targeting Virtuoso, even though they know I can do this, because they have another cry in hand. In which case, I'm just gonna get destroyed. And I will, I will still love it. You know me. Alright. Here goes nothing. Do it. Do it. There it is. Oh, other way. <laughs> oh, too far. Good game. I'll give them the good game on that. They got me. They got me. At least that one's, to me anyway, that was funny. Was not anticipating playing around Cry of the Carnarium. Don't know why I wasn't. The, the double black seems a little iffy in a five color deck. But they got there, and to be fair, Thriving Lands let you pick your other color, so I guess it's not as iffy as I'm thinking. Oop, there we go. Alright, this is a high curve hand. Maybe this was a bad keep. Oh, versus Zoo! Zoo is fun. Alright. So, Revolt plus one plus one counter. Otherwise, it's just a Death Touch 1 2. Is this Tribal Death Touch? against a creature deck. <sighs> well, I mean, in that case, let's just gain as much life as we can. Alright, so I have to show an elf. Or they have to show an elf. Oh no, it's elves! Never mind, it's elves. But what are the payoffs? Are there any uncommon lords? Imperious Perfect is a... That's an uncommon, isn't it? Or am I wrong? I, I'm tempted to say I am. All right, so we'll play a Rhino out here. It'll gain two, and it, it'll be able to trade with the uh, Renegade, at least. Virtuoso can trade with Vanquisher, if I need to go that route. Uh, Virtuoso plus a token. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay, Dwynan's leads a payoff. Even if only somewhat. Bang. Ow. 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 Oh no. Ah, uh, double strike. Okay, that's a way to beat Death Touch. 
It, it is indeed a way to beat Death Touch. Itchy nose. Uh, Vanquisher gets passed for now, though, unfortunately. What are you doing? Oh, well, no, to be fair, I am pretty close to dead here. So, they could just be trying to push through damage. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, we're, we're actually in trouble. Oh, yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Because at best, I can use Champion to kill Vanquisher and block an Emissary, and then one to... Yeah, we're dead. Well, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Alternatively, we could play a Virtuoso, make two tokens. Does that really get us there, though? Let's see. Virtuoso plus token kills Vanquisher. You kill one. Token ki uh, blocks another. Uh, let's do some, some math here. Um, I, I do need to kill the Vanquisher at some point, though. I know, I know. Let me let me use that to think. All right. See, and then I still take eight. So no, that's not enough. He says as he's about to do it anyway. All right. Yeah. So we won't be able to kill Vanquisher and stay alive. Attack with everyone. Hello? There we go. I'm sorry, opponent. Alright, so we can go... Token. Here. 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 And we just barely stay alive. If I use this to kill one of these, we go to one. All right. Okay. Tracker. What's this? Attacks or blocks. If you control another non-human, it gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. Okay. Uh, so at this point, we don't have enough energy. I can go here, make enough energy for one more token. Yeah, we're, we're dead. Uh, I could do Virtuoso, have enough energy for one more token as well. Renegade... Yeah, I don't, I don't have... we don't have it. Yeah, so this is game, but I'm, I'm just gonna play it out. See, we only have potentially four blockers. And they have more than four creatures, as it turns out. Yeah, that's good game. Alright. I'll let them at least get their attacks in for the attack quest. It doesn't take that. Oh, yep, it's an uncommon. It's an uncommon. Whee! A yeet. There we go. This isn't this isn't going as well as I had hoped, to be honest. As as good of an impression as I got when I was playing this uh, right after Kaladesh Remastered was released. I thought that with every other deck playing Artisan, it might do better, just because there was a, a more limited pool of cards, but that's not doing it. He might be Jeff. As long as you're not the Jeff that's the DSP of Magic, then we're okay. <laughs> Dark Side Phil. Oh, I would say poor DSP, but he has, he has earned his reputation. Alright. Yay for aggro. Woo! Alright. Embercleave is a... or is a rare, right? I know that's, that should be obvious. Believe it or not, though, I'm not 100% sure I know the answer. Alright. We'll play a mountain here because I don't want to give away that we're energy just yet. Oh, I didn't hit it in time. Oh boy. Well, we don't have removal. Renegade can deal one damage, but we don't have remover, removal for Kiln Fiend. Ow, ow. Alright. Alright, let's draw a CAD. Alright. Ch 
Champion. Okay. Champion's actually pretty good against Kiln Fiend, uh, because yay for Double Strike. Although, I'm sure that they have removal. In Mono Red and Historic, I'm sure that they have removal. Unless they're just dedicated to a combo. A combo kill. Four mana is risky, I could die here, but we'll, we'll try it out. We'll live on the edge a little bit. We could use Renegade in a future turn to kill Charger, but let's go for it. Let's risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Alright, NB4 takes a billion damage and dies. Okay. There is a card in Historic for 2 mana that gives it double strike, and a separate card that doubles its power. It is very easy to make a budget Kiln Fiend combo deck as a result. Okay, so we did find this. We'll play the champion out and force them to use removal so that they can hit with the Fiend. Although I can count on one hand the number of times that Scrapper Champion has actually gotten to attack. Uh, it always dies. Always. And if it doesn't, you win the game. It is one of those cards. Okay, so that's Trample. Doesn't matter. Hopefully they're just cycling. Unless they can kill it, it does not matter yet. Although, again, there's a card that gives it double strike, so actually that would be a oh, first strike. Okay. Yeah, actually that works. Okay. Did they get there? Attack. I dare you. I dare you. Oh, we are 100% blocking this. Try to get rid of it as soon as we can. Ooh, okay. A little bit more. So we're going to take 10 here. Do you have firster strike? <laughs> Built to smash. What is that? We're going to one. Uh, okay. Just it's just uh, a limited giant growth. Yeah, unfortunately they improved its toughness, so we weren't able to kill it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is Thud? I see it's Fling. Sacred creature. Deals damage to the sex creature equal to the sacked creature's power to any target. So is that just better Fling? Except, well, it's one mana and sorcery speed. So it's not better, but still? <laughs> this is a long video. It's an hour and 20 minutes so far, and I've still only gotten one win. This is not going as planned. Not exactly. I miss the good old days of playing the speedrun deck and just flying through win after win. Alright. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a halfway decent start. Play a tune, get a mountain, itchy nose, really itchy nose. Play said mountain, servant, just try to get our game going. Oh, give him the hello while I'm at it. Oh boy. L oh, hi! Okay. That's not ideal. In that case, we'll play Rhino, probably. Yeah, we'll get out the Rhino. Hiya. Alright. Time to watch them draw cads. Banned in standard. Oh no. Oh no. When I see Lucky Clover, Rosethorn, Acolyte, I think we have a combo deck coming. They could just be using it for ramp, though. Reaper. What is that? Discard two cards? Oh, they're copying it! Oh! Well, okay, that, that will do it. And then, discard two cards. Nice! Legit. That's that's legit. Alright. Let's, uh... We'll actually end up spending the map, the energy, even though I'd like to use it on the champion instead. Ideally, we'd be using it on champion. I just want to get the beats down as soon as possible. Ooh. Hope that they don't have a kill spell, which, of course, they do. Alright. 
Uh, attack with you and you. We will spend it on you. And... What's this? Seven mana. Uh, sure. We'll spend it on you as well. Yes! Okay, that was quick. I, I wonder what was in their hand then for them to concede that early. They just didn't have removal, I guess? I mean, granted, a double mind rot, or mind rot is pretty pretty nice. Okay, so a second Archpriest of Iona. Hmm. I maybe, maybe there's a party deck out there for me to play. Only two wins that hold. I'm going to switch to something else so that I can get wins a little more quickly. But first, some Kaladesh Remastered. In, in before fourth Sram here. Sram's expertise. I was close. <laughs> I was close. If I want to go for some token silliness, I guess there's, there's that. Uh, I mean, there is a token deck. I'll be at tier 45, but there is a token deck. Yeah, no, it's fine. Hey! My, my land destruction heart appreciates this card. That's what I should have played. Artisan land destruction. And wild destruction. Artisan land destruction. So you run this as like a one... I, I run it as a one of, and you just hope that later on in the game, when you have a bunch of mana, you can get a bunch of land destruction cards back. <laughs> and then the opponent concedes. That's that's how this card gets, gets played. It's silly. Yeah, while this dreams x equals two, get two of them back, opponent concedes. It's a it's a match made in heaven. Alright. And then I don't know which color I want to do next. Well, I, well, we'll finish this first at least. I, I have a little bit more time to decide. Probably end up doing black, I imagine. Well, I don't know. Uh, it does give me Malakir Rebirth. On the other hand, red gives me Hazard, and it gives me Smashing, Shatter Skull Smashing. I don't know though. We'll see. You know what, we're going to switch to something else. Anything else. I just need to actually get wins more quickly, please. So we'll play some ranked merfolk. I'm in plat 3 right now. I really ought to play ranked some more. So what's been going on is because I don't have a whole lot of time, not as much time to play as I used to, I basically just play until I get the 4 wins for the, the gold rewards. And it's hard to level up quickly if you're only playing for 4 wins each day. Move these around. Let my voice go out. Should have made some co take a break to make some coffee next time, I guess. Alright, speaker, as you do. Alright, let it die to the spike. Or shock, actually. That works. Alright. Spike field hazard, I believe it's called. Alright, since we don't have any other lands right now, we'll play the branch walker. Instead of the adept. Ooh. Uh, great, good. Let him know. That, you know, hindsight. But, okay. Never mind, dies anyway. Alright. That's okay. It worked out. It worked out. <sighs> what on earth? <laughs> Shocking my face, skewer. What on earth is going on here? Alright. Reveal Biomancer, just in case we find an island. Nope. Okay. Whale. Whale. Bobby, I hear you need some lands. Uh oh. Oh no. Alright, play this. My goodness. My goodness. Yeah, we let that through, go to 11. If we can get them to actually run out of gas, we might be alright. Alright, so let them light up the stage. Skewer, okay. Yeah, the, the creature is inconsequential at this point. Dear God. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? For the love of God, okay. Let's see, for the love of God, please. Alright. Block with Biomancer. Well, mmm. I can block with Biom I can block with Adept, actually. Biomancer might need its ability. No, because next turn we're gonna play the Regery out. Play out the Regery. 
If we can find another island here, we can go Reedry and then spam Biomancer. Oh, but no, we didn't. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, in that case, let's go Mistbinder, Biomancer. It's a little risky, but I'll hold up Biomancer. Alright. It's a little risky because they can remove it and then I'm in trouble. Good game? Yeah, they probably have me. Ooh, okay. What you got? What you got? Wizard Lightning. Alright. They found it. It happens. It happens. That was that was an unfortunate start, not finding the other lands. It I can't complain. Merfolk is it's, it's a collecting company deck. The curve tends to be pretty low, especially since this is a four Biomancer list, so four Biomancer, four Speaker. But it happens sometimes. And we have Branch Walker and Adept to try to draw more cards. It's certainly not the most explosive deck, uh, even Lord deck, but it has that going for it. This is awkward. Double Hinterland Harbor. I mean, we'll take it, because I think it's better than going to 6, but uh, it's not looking great. It's a little slow. I don't know, we'll see what we're up against. It does have Borrower and Branch Walker, so I think we'll live. I think we'll be okay. We'll see what I get up here. Elves. Okay. <laughs> Good game. Nice. I'm not going to concede. This is ranked. You win 0% of the games where you concede. I suspect that sometimes people might do that because it's a... it's a bluff. Another Pell Collector. Ooh. Okay, then. Okay. Let's see what you're working with. Please find a land. There's a land. Okay. Called Merfolk. And... No. Alright. Okay, Pelt Collector Trigger coming up. Uh, yeah, there's one Tempest Call. Oh, jeez. Nope, never mind. Two triggers coming up. Nope, just one. Alright, so they put a counter on it. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, take a tiny risk here. Alright. Didn't didn't work quite as planned. It's hoping that I might have found a land for Mistbinder so I could have my cake and eat it too. But this'll do. Alright, another collecting company. Do it. Ambush. Interesting. Alright. That's fair enough. Uh, no blocks. We're about to get to the point where we can overwhelm them with bigger creatures anyway. Unless we don't find land. Hmm, okay. We have both brazen borrowers in hand. Alright, so I can go Branch Walker, try to find a land, and then Merfolk Mistbinder. Again, if I don't find land, I still have a three power creature. It's like a baby option select. Alright, put that in the graveyard. A baby option select. Baby's first option select. Ah, oh boy. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That. At least we got that out of the way before Mistbinder comes down. Once we find another land, double Mistbinder should do something. Should. Oh god. It's actually probably. We're maybe too late now. Yeah, we're maybe too late. When this dies, it's going to put a counter on Pelt Collector. Ow, ow, ow. Alright. Yeah, the moral of the story is, find lands. I think there are 21 in this deck. Oh. Well, that's not what I meant. That's not exactly what I was meaning. Alright. Well... We're not dead yet! I mean, 
We're almost dead. We're to the point where Llanowar Elves would almost make the cut, if it were any creature that were any bigger. Attack with every- yep, okay, here we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, and removal. Nope! Alright. Well, hey, everybody. Yep. What is it? Another Llanowar Elves? Okay. Hi, Elf. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, um... Let's see. What could possibly get me out of this? I don't think anything at this point. It would be nice, but I think that we're dead. That's a good game. As long as they attack with everything, we're done. Alright, they got me. They got their attack quest in. Ah, oh, find lands. Actually, even if they didn't attack, they still have me because of Romanop ruins. What, what can you do, folks? Not too much. Oh, Merfolk and ranked in November 2020. I don't know that that's supposed to work out. Alright. Yeah, we'll keep. It's better than a double Hinterland Harbor start, for sure. For dang sure. Alright. We could even play the Breeding Pool tap next turn and still get the buff. And since there's nothing else on which to spend it, we might as well, I suppose. Alright. Alright, what you got? What do you have? Next turn we'll play Kira, and then next turn Kapala. Uh, Kira's buff is generally better. Put the two of them together and you're in great shape. There aren't that many instances where Kapala is better. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Well... Yeah, at least this will get around something like Claim the Firstborn. hope that that threw a wrench in their plans. So if they play land, they can get Woe Strider out, and they can make me sack something. And I'll sack the speaker. Mayhem Devil. Okay. Uh, that's a good way to actually pop Kapala triggers, actually. If nothing else, at least there's that. Alright, we can get Coco out to try to overwhelm Priest, but I think it might be better to go Adept, Hold Up, Trickster. I would like to do Kapala as well. Don't know that that's right, though. Hmm. Alright. Well, we don't have any lords yet. So if I immediately, like on the next turn, I can use Trickster to shut off Devil for a turn. And then I can use Coco on the next turn. That might be alright. Ooh, Borrower. We can actually use that to bounce priest if we need. We can use it to bounce devil, actually, so that we can swing in here. All right. Return that to hand. Okay. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't right, but it's forcing them to use a lot more mana. And now they can't use... Oh, Witch's Oven, great. Okay. Um... Let's see. Let's see, so they can sack something to use Mayhem Devil to pop uh, Kira, and then they can take it over with Claim. Um... This seems weird doing it now, though. Alright, let's try it. We could find some lords, that'd be nice. Silvergill Adept, and a flyer, I guess? A 3-1 flyer. Draw a card. Alright. Well, okay. That's a little unfortunate. We didn't find a lord to push through against the Mayhem Devil. Little unfortunate. 
Next turn we have Trickster Borrower. We have Flash Shenanadoos. Although we'll probably end up playing the Territory then Kapala. Uh oh. Okay. What you gonna do? So we can get the Kira Kapala combo going on. Oh. I genuinely don't know what they're about to do. They could sack Devil to Witch's Oven to pop Kira, and then claim, take a creature, priest, sack both. But that's. I don't know what that does for them. I'm just trying to think of what lines they might have. Okay. Oddly enough, it's the it's the non merfolk that are actually doing the work here. All right, play that. All right, what are they going to do? All right, good. So combo assembled. I'll attack with you and you, and they're dead in a turn. All right, in turn, and then here we can fire off the trickster to shut off Priest. I mean, obviously they can sack her in, in response. Or they can sack in response. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Alright, so this will pop the shield. Alright, they're getting rid of Kira now. Alright, good. Oh, at me! Interesting, okay. Let them draw. I was... okay. I was thinking they were going to, like, sack a food here so they could do two to Kira, gain some life. Alright, so we lose Murpho Trickster, as you do. Alright, Kira's dead. Kira down. Alright, and now the shields are down. This costs two, so they can actually kill Brazen Borrower and a Silvergill Adept. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of how we're going to do this. So obviously Borrower attacks, but then they kill it. Um, I guess we just attack with everyone, don't we? All right. Sack the food, kill the borrower, and a silvergill adept. Alright. They're actually in a decent spot here, to be fair. Alright. Good. Okay. So then they go to one. No, no, they don't. They don't go to one. What am I saying? They just gain three. Alright. Oh, save that. Save that for later. Uh oh. Uh oh. They have Cauldron Familiar Witch's Oven. They have Cauldron Familiar Double Witch's Oven. Alright, this Brazen Borrower is dead. Well, GG. GG. That's game. What could I possibly get at this point to get me out of that? That's just, a, with the Mayhem Devils as well, that's a lot of damage. Alright. If it were Kira, that at least would do something. Jeez. I'm just gonna call it. They got me. They got me. We are, what, 0 for 3 now? Yep, uh, that's the third lost in a row. Jeez. This is not a good showing today. I swear, it's not normally... Well, you've seen the other videos. It's not normally like this. Oh, it's actually moved me to the next day because it's so late. Oh, because it just turned... Yeah. It, this minute, it just went by. Well, you know what? In that case, now let's get a few more. Pai Vamos. I see that and I think of the blacksmith from Dark Souls 1. I know it's Spanish as well. Alright. 
We'll play Breeding Pool Botanical Sanctum, and then try to get there. Alright. Ooh, I can't even say that the matchups have been too bad so far. Oh, okay. I mean, Murpho can do well enough against Thoughtseize decks, generally. Alright. Play that out first, obviously. Oh, right on time, buddy. Right on time. We're actually going to play the Mistbinder first, then. Even though I'm sure that they have removal for it, because they know about it already. And we're using our mana efficiently. Alright, let's see how dead this thing is. Fatal Push, okay. Yeah, plenty of options. I haven't seen nearly as much Assassin's Trophy as I thought there would be in this format. All right, let's try this again. All right, are you dead as well? Eliminate, okay. I have gotten, pe gotten people with Fatal Push without Revolt, not realizing, okay. Fable Passage, nice. All right, in that case, we're actually gonna play an Icon first. Ooh, Merfolk. This should help me work around removal. That's one of the joys of a card like that. You just have a sense of inevitability. It's a one-of in the deck. It's my ninth lord. You know, if, if Merfolk is going to be the lord deck, then we might as well just go all in on that. It It's one of the cards that can't be gotten with Collective Company, along with um, Tempest Collar. So, counting Collective Companies itself, there are six cards that can't be gotten with it in the deck. Six non-lands. Everything else is good to go. Everything else is fair game. Alright. Thought six. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, let's attack first. I guess I could have played Silvergill first in case I found a Lord, but oh well. I messed up. Oops. Well, we'll see if I messed up. Nope. Alright. Well, they already know about it, so we might as well. In before dies to Ritual of Soot. Although we have Icon out, so maybe we'll get there. Maybe. Shark Typhoon. Okay. Alright. One mana away from being able to actually cast Shark Typhoon. That means they didn't have another land in hand. Uh, now this is not a matchup I look forward to. Hmm. All the more removal. Oh, nope. Good try. When you run out of thought seeds, I guess I guess that's where duress comes in handy, right? Activate. Let's see what we get. Mist Binder. Yup. Yep, we're playing it. Yes, we are. Uh-oh. Is that an oops on me? Did I goof? Maybe I did. Alright, maybe I did. I should be in okay shape here. Extinction event. Okay, yeah, so they declare even, and then I'm left with two speakers at 3-3. Three, three. Alright, do you have any other removal? I'm gonna make you do it. A creature will not suffice. Alright, yep, okay, we got there. Finally, one. One win. Finally, finally. Uh, rolling over into the next day is what I get for getting a late start. Alright, so we. Oh, it's creatures. Well, that's easy enough. I guess we'll just keep playing. I'll use the uh, extra coins and open a pack in a bit. Pack or two or twelve. I don't think I've played you yet. Yo, Matthias. Okay. Okay, double sanctum, biomancer tricks. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, we'll see what we're up against. Triple biomancer is not often the, the creature you want to see, but I don't know. And if it's control, then the ability. Oh, siphoner. All right. Pay 
to, if you do draw a card and you lose a life. Enters the battlefield or attacks. Alright. I guess we'll attack first. Since using its ability will still mean it dies. Regardless. Hmm. Okay. Let's go with... Yeah, double Biomancer. Go big or go home, right? I mean, go wide or go home now. Alright, hub. General Kudro. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no blocks. You know, two can play at that game. Although... You can play at it a little bit better than me right now. Better than I. Um... What is this? They get to draw a card? Draw a card and lose one life. It's an energy dark confidant. Uh... Hmm... I can bounce it so they don't get the card draw yet. Really don't want to give them a card. Alright, let's play the Regery and hope that they don't have removal. If they don't, then we get to kind of go to town. Maybe it's a creature-based deck that's heavy enough on creatures that we can get away with this. And it it's a little harder for this guy to die to Fatal Push, though I don't think that's what they would be having. Spirit. What the heck? Okay, I mean, that works. That definitely works. Jeez. Alright. So this would give me a 3-3. Three, three. Oh boy. We're getting pretty close to the point where I kind of just have to, don't I? No blocks. Ow. Alright, well we found a land. Hmm. Do a branch walker first. If we get a 3 3, that'd be nice. Ooh, yes. Heck yes. Pass. Alright. Let them draw another card. Ow. Oh boy. Kite sail freebooter. They don't get to take anything. Not a thing. Okay. Woo! Ta-da! Alright. Attack, I dare you. I dare you. Acquisition expert. Okay, so this will actually... How many cards? This is a... Cl a s s rogue? Rogue. Alright, so it would be one. Um, well, it doesn't really matter then, does it? Alright. Let it resolve. Into the battlefield. Target me. Just, just rogues, right? Let me look over this again, just to make sure. It's warrior, not soldier, that it cares about. Alright. There we go. You can take Brazen Borrower. Not that it really matters. Okay, so we'll drop this, target Kudro, and we'll make a trade. Oh crap, it has Menace, doesn't it? Crap. Well, that's a problem. In that case, we want to block with Trickster, don't we? I'll block with Trickster then. It's not ideal. At all. And we're going to die to a 2-3 flyer. Bugler. 3-4 right. Vigilance, yay. Alright, so they get to exile Brazen Barber, as you do. Just in case, you know. Another Apparition. Wow. Whatever this deck is doing, I like it and I hate it. 
Alright, so obviously they hit the Mistbinder here. Alright, let's see how they're attacking. Okay. Alright, that makes more sense. Alright. Block you. Make that odd little trade. It's not exactly where I'd like to be. We can actually do this here just to use our mana efficiently, discarding whatever we find. It was a misbinder. Oh dear. Alright. Let's see. Discard this. Play out misbinder. And then. We have to do something. We have to do something against that flying creature. But we have a bugler, unfortunately, on the other side. Hmm. Alright, this one can bounce something, can't it? Yeah. This is just human tempo, isn't it? Alright. We'll say they got us. Because they did. Because they did. Yeah. We're gonna get dropped down to four at this rate. Oh. Maybe I should just go back to Old Faithful, kill people with a creature that doesn't get removed on turn one. Or turn two, I should say. Angry Spirit. I hope you're playing Spirits. Do it. That would be. Oh, it's Yorian. So no, no spirits. Probably. Uh, since we're on the draw, we'll keep it. A little risky, especially given the record I've had with finding lands. But we'll keep it. Plus, if we can get to two, we have Branchwalker and Adept to draw us through the rest of the way. So we we might make it. Here's to hoping, anyway. All right. Yup. Thoughtseize. Eee. Alright. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess they see the game. The game we're playing. Living on the edge here. Yeah, with 21 lands in the deck, and I get two shots at it, I mean, I, I don't hate those odds. Uh, if the video is going to keep going and going, aha! Well, got there. Right. Then I probably ought to go get some more coffee, right? Oh, don't I need it? All right, thoughts is again. Yep, called it. Called it. Um, take Branch Walker. Adept. Okay, now that makes sense too. See if we can find another land. We did. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. I'm assuming this is a removal deck, so Kira might come in handy. Watch it. Watch there be Wrath of God. Shatter the sky. Whatever. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. That's a very technical term for it. I guess I want to play Kira before I play Regery. I uh, should have attacked first. It doesn't... they can... they can kill it now since I didn't attack first. Omen of the Sea, okay. Hmm. I guess one of the tiny little joys of playing against Yorian is that they're ever so slightly less likely to find the answer that they need, also known as Wrath of God. At this point now it's Wrath. Or... or Settle the wreckage. Trial. Okay. It's a Doom Foretold deck, I guess. Alright. Obviously, Merfolk. Uh, as much as. Yeah, I guess I should go for Regery, shouldn't I? No, we have Trickster. We'll hold up Trickster. Hold up double Trickster. And then Regery on the next turn. Ooh. Beginning of your upkeep. Ooh. 
Okay, well, Kira will keep my creatures from dying, but they're going to draw cards first, I imagine. I strongly, strongly suspect. Because they need to find an answer. Alright. Okay. hi ya. Dies in before, dies to Wrath of God. Alright. So I put a stop there. Let them choose. Choose the mode. Any, four damage to any target and you gain four life. So they're at eight. Um, see, unfortunately the thing is, I would like to tap down the other Hallowed Fountain with this Merfolk Trickster on Regery, but I can only do one and they will still have double white for something like Wrath. I guess it could matter for Cleansing Nova, but I don't know that that's a card that they play. I want to be really careful about playing this Trickster out early, because then if, if I play it and they do have Wrath of God, I lose everything. They're not, they're not playing Cleansing Nova. I don't think they are. Or Fumigate. Fumigate's another one. Actually, no, Fumigate could be something that they play. Uh, let's risk it. Okay, what you got? Oh, they would have had it anyway. If they have Fumigate, they can do it regardless. All right. Uh-oh. Now I have to hit decline. Because otherwise I'll untap it for them. All right, what do you have? Yorian, okay. Yorian, blink, omen, trial, so I have to sack a creature. We're going to sack a trickster. Wait, they're tapped out. I can sack Kira. Alright. Thankfully, this gets to resolve first. We'll see how the opponent does it. Alright. Yeah, we can sack Kira since they don't have more mana. And then blocks the biggest one. And then we win. Yep, okay, we got there. They see it. They see it. Finally! Gotta at least claw myself back to where I was, right? No, I don't think that that's happening tonight. The last time that I played Ranked, I got, I think it was eight wins in a row, and that wasn't exactly what I was going for. It's just, it just happened. I was just trying to build up coins. Alright. <sighs> Nagasakun. I'm going to, well, well, show off my inner weeb, right? Uh, yeah, sure. In case we find a hinterland harbor coming up. Robber. Ye yeesh. Yeesh. Uh-oh. Well, okay, thankfully that'll just be a 1-1 one -one in all likelihood. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, since we already have a decent number of lands, let's play an adept first. Reveal adept. Draw a card, and of course it was <laughs> it was fine for a branch walker there. That's all right. All right, so stomp? No, no stomp. All right, block, trade, uh, play out speaker. Nope, mammoth. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Let's play branch walker. See if we can manage to make a creature that can trade with it if they don't hit landfall. Um, actually, no, we're okay with that. We're okay with that. Be nice to have now. Alright. Rip that last botanical sanctum. Alright. Landfall? Uh, it could be Alptol from, uh, Stardust Crusaders. Oh, jeez. Holy crap. Waiting on that animation long enough that we don't see the heads fly at me. 
Okay, that's a problem. Okay, so I can do Regery and play a free Biomancer. This does mean that Branch Walker gets to trade anyway, so that, that's a fine thing to do regardless. Uh, target you. Oh, I could have attacked with Branch Walker first. I could have attacked with Branch Walker. I'm a genius. I'm a genius, folks. Uh, attack with Branch Walker, untap it with uh, Biomancer if they let it through. Ah, oh, Jay, Jay. I gotta actually look out for this stuff. Good God. Alright. We'll wait. I'll go to four. Oh, jeez. No, I won't. I'm dead. They got me. Oh, I was too late to concede, wasn't I? Nope. Yeah, I was too late to concede. A <sighs> little bit too late. Yeah, that'll do it. Embercleave. In decks like that, is Ember how many Embercleaves are typically run? I, I, the number I'm coming up with is three. Because it is legendary and does require a little setup. You can't just play it whenever you feel like it. So, maybe three? Alright. Uh oh. Okay. Not a great matchup. I guess we'll take it, though. Oh, I should have played the harbor out first, since it would come in tapped right now. Okay. Yeah, this is really not looking good. I'm about to lose a level here. I'm about to lose a rank. What do you do? Alright, you play out a branch walker. That's what you do. And then you... Um... We need something more impactful. I'm gonna dig. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. That's not good. It's no bueno. Alright, we still haven't gotten something for that yet. Alright. Alright, so we'll play out a Regery. Try to set up for a big turn. I want to be careful about... Yeah. We'll do it. I'll, I'll take some damage for it, though. Take some damage for my trouble. Go to 15 if they attack with Snoop and Chi... Oh, God, there's Cranko. Whoa! They didn't use Snoop first. Oh, it doesn't matter. They... So they have haste. They could have actually tapped with Snoop, made goblins, then cast it off the top and made more goblins. Right. It doesn't matter, they've got me at this point. Holy crap. And then they sack three, or sack two in the treasure to get Chieftain, or they could just use mana. Whee! Boink. Boink. <sighs> goblins is one of the reasons why I'm a little bit reluctant to take out that last, last Hushbringer from... Uh, Auras, even though that's pretty much the only matchup. That and Rakdos Pyromancer, where it does much, unfortunately. Alright. It's not looking great. <laughs> this is not this is not where I was how I was hoping the video would go. Not exactly. I still would like to get a few more wins, though, so we're keeping it up. I mean, what else am I going to do with my with my day, right? Let's see. So, Biomancer, Branch Walker... Yeah, okay. I like where this is going. I have seen at least a couple people make Mythic in, uh, in Historic with Merfolk. Make it all the way up to Mythic. Right, what do you have? Ah, okay, so I know what you're on. I know what you're on. 
make it seem like I just have one land. Maybe. Yep. Yep. Alright. Let's see. What could I have to get me out of this? I think the only way I've actually ever won this matchup is by chaining together Merfolk Tricksters. Or them not finding it, of course. But if they find it, it's chaining Merfolk Tricksters. And that's about it. Cancel attacks. Alright. Because why? What's the point? Alright, here it comes. Hmm. I know this deck all too well. This is what I play on my speedrun attempts now. <sighs> oh boy. Okay. Ow. Alright, we'll block with Biomancer so they don't get the extra cards. Merfolk. Want to try to make ourselves as chonky as possible, right? And then we'll take one hit from the Spirit Dancer. Alright. Let's see. If I don't attack here, Branchwalker blocks Spirit Dancer. Um. I can go Adept, Biomancer. I can kind of just puke my hand out next turn. Not really. So we'll attack. Alright, we'll give them the extra cards this turn. It's better than blocking with Rejury. Or not, maybe it's not. Well, okay, never mind, didn't matter. I'm glad I attacked there then. Hindsight. They have enough options to sneak through. Oh jeez. And they have an all seed. Alright, so we're dead next turn. If I could find a uh, Merfolk Trickster, I could tap it down at instant speed, and or I could just uh, remove its ability, which is what I'd do, but then tap something else down. It doesn't matter anymore, though, because they have all seed. Sentinel's Eyes. Okay. I mean, just in case I find something, right? Alright. Reveal Biomancer, untap, breeding pool. We'll go through the motions, but we are dead. We are dead here. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll get my free stuff. Might as well, right? Oh, you know what? I could have tapped both of these down. Oh, they're at 12! No, 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 no. It wasn't enough. They weren't close enough. But I'll say they're at 12 if I had tapped them down. But no, no, these are summoning sick. Never mind. Getting my hopes up for exactly no reason. No, no point in even getting too excited. Alright. And then we can see. Yeah. We don't have a whole lot to... St oh, yeah, we're back in plat 4. I have seen something it does every now and then where it keeps you in the tier, like once you've gotten to zero out of six, it keeps you in the tier that you're in for, you know, a loss or two. I'm not sure exactly how or when that happens, but obviously it didn't happen there. I think that it has something to do with, like, if you've immediately come up and you haven't gotten a win in that new thresh or past that new threshold, then it keeps you there for a little while. Notorious. Yeah, this is not the direction you go if you're on your way to Mythic. I need to be marching up, not not this way. And, and yes, that is, a, that is a weird key. But we're on the draw, so I'm trying it. Alright, let's go for it. I am entirely too uh, happy to keep a one-lander on the draw. And it, it hasn't bitten me yet. <laughs> Hindsight. Woo! The deck's just consistent enough at getting past two that it's hard for me not to... Um... No. 
It's hard for me not to try it, at least. Although this is ranked. Eventually it bites me. Always. Without fail. Alright. Let's see if we can dig to that fourth man that third mana for Regery, fourth mana for company, and then go from there. Alright. Here goes nothing. Alright, fire. If it's Doom, oh, Teferi, okay. The four mana one I've seen more often is Elspeth, jeez. So, mustache troubles. The mustache is a little itchy, a little bit. Um. Hmm. Okay. Let's hope that they don't have a Wrath. That's the one. They can still phase something out. So if I attack with both at Teferi, even with the Lord, they can keep Teferi. Yeah. Good times. Alright. Here goes. Mmm. Still, is it worth doing? It might actually be. No, because they get an extra draw discard next turn. I want to be careful about this. Wrath just destroys me. So I, I want to be careful. Alright. Alright, here goes. Yeah. It means they didn't do the phase out shenanigans. Turn into hand, draw a discard. Alright, as expected. Let's see if you have it. If you don't, then I still have a Brazen Borrower. Or if you do, I still have Brazen Borrower, and if I find a land, I'll have Collected Company. So we can play around Wraths a little bit. Alright. Fumigate. Kaya's Wrath. Okay. There we go. Um. Play it out, pass the turn, because we can use its ability. Make it a little bigger, and try to find another land. Or maybe. Alright. Here we go. Oh, that was dumb. No, it worked out. It worked out. I should have waited. Uh, it's fine, because if I did find a land, I'd have to discard it so that I could keep the company. I just paid two mana for a 2-2. Two -two for a buff. For a plus one plus one counter. I is big smart. Alright. Mm. Yeah, okay. This is right, because now we have lethal next turn. Although, they can obviously phase it. What you got? What do you have? All creatures get minus three, minus three until end of turn. Okay. And then let's see what they get to cast for free. Fey of Wish... Oh, okay. Yeah, the actual Fey itself. Well, that's awkward, because now Brazen Borrower doesn't get rid of that. Ah, but that, on the other hand, that's not bad. Mmm. Let's wait. Although they are tapped out, I don't think this is a counterspell deck. Alright, let's see. And transform. Alright. This is about to get out of hand. A little bit. Ooh, okay. Let's do it now. See what we can find a sack instead. Uh, Adept Regery. 
because now we have Kumina's speaker to tap down Fey of Wishes. Alright. Uh, sure. Um, so the first one's free. The first one's just actual factual free. And then I can decide how I want to do it with Fey of Wishes here. Since we can't kill them this turn, I kind of would like to wait on Collected Company. We can't kill them regardless. Alright, so we'll tap it down. I mean, we can, but not really. They can phase out a creature and just be good. Alright. And then this is discard a card, so we'll lose the Collected Company. Alright, let's make you do it. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We got to ferry away from the ult. Alright, drop the double to fairy, the, ex the spare to fairy. Okay, do you have it? If they do have it, I'll get the silver girl adept back, but that doesn't matter because Fey wishes will get through. Another Fey. Okay. Uh, actually, then they're, they're out of the woods for a bit. Alright. I'll need to discard, or I'll need to sack you. Alright, what do I get? Uh oh. Uh oh. Now what? You're gonna phase out Regery now? Okay. That's a good plan. Ah, great. Great. Let's see what's in their yard. Um, let's see what's in my yard. I mean, get a silver girl out of just to draw a card, I guess. <sighs> oh well. What do you feel like sacking? I would think Oath of Kaya. I would think. So they get to reanimate something... Oh, oh, we're doing this first. Okay. Seems like it might be wrong to do that with Teferi. Yep, okay. Just maybe, might be wrong. Alright, here we go. What you got? Narsa. Okay. It could be worse, but that's not ideal. Could be a little worse. <sighs> Good times. Yeah, I think we're done here as well. This is not going well. Merfolk is just not getting the job done. Not today. Alright. Yeah, the, the... The Anaconda has officially... Yeah, constricted me. A little bit. Yeah. That, that doesn't do it either. Alright. I'll switch decks. I'll switch. It's, it's not working. It's not getting me there. Not today it's not. If I could have shown you a couple days ago, when I got the streak, that would have been nice. Alright. Let's switch it over to just playing Auras. Sorry, Merfolk. Uh, it's still in the speedrun configuration, so this might not be ideal. It means it doesn't have staggering insight. Alright, that does mean I have issues against uh, aggro, unfortunately. Already it looks like we're off to a better start. Already. Alrighty. This would have been much better on the play, though. But we'll take it. Vanguard, okay. 
play you into a lifelink creature. Oh boy. Dexos. Bishop. Okay. Angel time. Never mind. I, lo I spoke too soon. This is not going to work out. Alright. Well, hmm. Play this into... I guess I could do another cartouche. Yeah, let's do that. Um... Hmm, I could just get some free life. Let's go for it. Alright. Free life gain! Woo! There we go. Easy enough. Yeah, the fact that they're a white deck, though, means that All Seeds Protection is a little bit less benefit. Resplendent Angel of Vitality. Okay, so they gain four, and then they gain one, so they gain five. Yay! Good times. Alright. Well, I got punished for not playing that, uh, for playing the other one out. That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, though. Then we'll pass. Alright. No Resplendent Angel yet, though. Maybe we'll get by. If nothing else, I'll have a 3-5 Flyer that lets me draw an extra card next turn. That'll be fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's already a 4-4. Four -four. Well, yeah. They're gonna gain 4 life, 2 plus 2. One plus one, but each one gets an extra. Oh, man. But they're almost out of cards, and we still have a Spirit Dancer that's yet to... yet to act, yet to go crazy. Get a little bit out of hand. At least that... oh, jeez. And I don't have mana. I spoke too soon again. Ah! Ah! You stop that. Man, I just can't seem to win today. I'm having an off day. I know it happens, even to really good players. I know it happens, but... Yeah. That's a little unfortunate. Well, I mean... Hmm. Play you as well. Do I feel like going on the attack? Mm, no? Oh boy. I mean, because that's about to be a 6 6 of Johnny's Pride Mate anyway. Ooh, hello. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, they'll take it, and then I'm about to eat a bunch of, eat a bunch of damage. This, thankfully, doesn't have lifelink. I'll put them back to 25, but it'll still be a 4-4 as a result. It's 25 or more. Nope, I'm sorry, I can't count. It's 26. Oh, because that's a 5-5. Yeah. I can't count, apparently. Right. There's not even anything in the yard for Luris. Jeez. Alright, here goes. Oh, okay. Well, we can still attack in the air. Because the only thing that flies is the angel. Bang. Alright. Let's see. I guess there's no point in showing that card off just yet. Pass. Make it seem like we might, just maybe, have something. Alright. Alright. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm not doing so well. We've lost a whole rank this, <laughs> this day. Oh, jeez. Well, hmm, I 
th I think that had we been on the play, that would have gone very differently. But, oh well. What can you do? Let's see. Definitely keep. And then just hope we can snowball this game. So the list is uh, for the creatures. Four Allseed, four Selfless Savior, four Spirit Dancer, three Srom, and a Hushbringer. Which will end up being another Srom. Just eight cards that let the game go way out of hand. Uh oh. Alright. Fire. Okay. Gruel shenanigans. In that case, we'll play the Srom first. Before Spirit Dancer. Because I, I have a sneaking suspicion we might have to deal with Stomp here in just a minute. No! Steam can. Okay. Huh. Alright, here goes. Fire away. Ooh. Yeah, that all that glitters is going to be fun. So put it at 16 with a 3 5 first strike creature out. I don't dislike this one bit. Alright, so there's Chain Whirler. Kill the little dude. Alright. Well, it could be worse. Somehow. Alright. Oh, I, sh I should have played all that glitters first so I could try to draw into, like, a Glacial Fortress. Another, a better land. Um, let's attack with Srom, or let's put, on, put one on Srom. Make it a bigger boy. And then, we already have First Strike to deal with you. Um... We could do all that glitters there as well. Let's just go really big. Yep, okay, there we go. See, sometimes that just happens. Sometimes you just snowball and they concede early, even in ranked. It's mono-red, so their removal is damage-based, so what are they going to do about it? Not a whole lot. Yeah, if I'm actually seriously grinding rank, I, ranked, I probably should be playing this deck instead of Merfolk at this point. Well, Merfolk has its times. Rominous MTG. I kind of would like to look up, see if you actually have a channel. With a name like that... Alright, so it has self of Savior Shram. Let's go. Alright. Selfless Savior, Srom, two auras. Hopefully we'll get there. Here's to hoping. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Alright. One, two, say hello. I had actually thought that when you ended up uh, adding these, that they replaced your original quotes. Let's go back. Here. Sad face. Sad face. Pay two. Put one on you. Right. Let's see what we get. Oh, hi. Hi, another Srom. Doing it now? Okay. Alright. Let's attack first. What do we get? Is it a one minute? No. Yeah, it is. It is a one minute aura. Nice. Alright. Kill Srom in response. I dare you. Uh. Let's get it outside of disfigure range. Maybe that's not right. I'm trying, though. I'm doing my best. Plus, we, we're going to sack Selfless Savior to save it anyway. Selfless Savior is not the important one. Alright, now, we don't care. We have First Strike. We don't care. I mean, we do for Selfless Savior. Hmm. Alright, let's put it on you. Good, good. We actually could put Cartouche on Selfless Savior just to make them block there. And they would too, wouldn't they? Alright, draw a couple cards. Ether Tunnel, alright. 
in that case, we will play the selfless savior to save our own selfless savior. Oh no, 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 no. You get that you get back, buddy. I appreciate it, but alas. Alright, please block Strom. Please don't see that I have first strike. Alright. Sack it to save you. And there we go. Alright, bang. Hopefully that'll do it. If it's a deck that's running Nighthawk Scavenger, they might not be running Wrath, and it doesn't matter, they don't have white white. Ritual of Soot, no. Another Scavenger, okay. I think we win. I think that's good game. See if they'll concede. Um, alright, so we can start off with... All that glitters here. Oh, we found a cartouche. And... Oh, we're not... We don't have quite enough, do we? So, math time. Let's look at the stack. We have All That Glitters, Sentinel's Eyes, Cartouche of Solidarity. If I play Ether Tunnel, this gets to... Oh, wait! It, okay, it gets to 11. And this... No, no, lifelink. Lifelink. Alright, so we're not there just yet. Oh wait, yes we are. Yes we are. An extra point there. And then Ether Tunnel. Alright, never mind, we got there. Bang. Yeah, a little bit easier. A little bit easier playing this. Uh, okay. The moral of this story is, at this point in Magic, you ought to just be playing the most broken deck you can, and Merfolk is a fair deck. It's not a broken deck. There's nothing too terribly broken about it. Alright, well I did say I'd spend some. I'll save a few just in case we get another gem quest coming up. I appreciate when I find somebody on Twitter that actually posts, hey look, there's a gem quest. They have like a PSA for it. Okay, so a second relic. The first one for Brawl, the second for Historic, right? Since there's the uh, Metalwork Colossus deck that runs that, I believe. Okay. And then... I mean... As always, I suppose... Uh, this is my favorite set, and it has the Triumphs. Though at this point, I think I only have two Triumphs that I don't have play sets of. Let's see if we can make that one right now. Yep. Okay, we made it one. Called it. Yes. All right, so only the Mardu one is left. And I believe that one I need two of. <laughs> we're getting we're getting awfully close. Somehow, let, let's look at my collection really quickly. When we sort it by Ikoria, rares collected and not collected. I still haven't picked up any mythos of Iluna, uh, but otherwise, we have at least one of everything. Well, no, we still haven't picked up the Ozolith yet. I was, as I was moving the last page, I realized that might be it. Um, uh, I'm sure that there's a way to make this thing work. Maybe as a one of in a, an energy counters matter deck, I suppose. You know, with long test cubs, so I can move them around. I don't know that I'd run too many because it's an energy deck. The more you water down energy, the less effective it is. The joys of parasitic mechanics. But yeah, look at all these four ofs. Eventually, when I pick up the last two of these, and let me make sure again, Zagoth, uh, Ketria, Indatha, Savai, and... and the last one run off to. One, let's see, two, three, Four. I'm blind. I'm blind, right? Oh yeah, because Rogan's at the very front now, because it's new. That's right. That's right, it's all the way over here. That'll do it. Almost there. Almost there. Alright, that, that's it for now, I guess. And somehow only one Shark Typhoon. Alright. Take care, Magic community. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>